Okay, here we are in the kitchen, ready to start filming our beautiful pie. <laughs> As you can see, I've got some phyllo pastry still to use up, hence the recipe. Okay, this is um, another vegetarian meal. Um, but with ingredients that you're very familiar with and very comfortable with. So we've got cauliflower, we're going to make a cauliflower cheese. We're going to use cheddar cheese in the making of that. And then on the top of that, we're going to put some caramelized red onions. And then over the top of that, we're going to put some grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, and we're going to set all that inside our phyllo pastry. So let's get on and break this cauliflower up into florets so we can uh, boil it. Right, chopping up our cauliflower. Once you've removed the leaves and things from the middle, you can start getting in and getting the florets away from the trunk of the cauliflower meal. So whatever you do with this meal it's going to be a winner. And there you got your cauliflower mostly broken up. You can do the rest by hand and we'll come back once I've done that. Right, cauliflower in, lid on. Right yo. Now we'll do the onions while the cauliflower is cooking. Just slice them through like this. And then all you want to do is just separate them out in rings. Right? And we'll fry them like that. Right, into the colander. And we'll just we'll just let these steam dry. So, in with our 60 grams of butter. And in with that goes six tablespoons of flour. Now remember to cook the flour for one or two minutes. Now a third of our 600 ml of milk. And just keep stirring this until it thickens and then add your second third. Now our final amount of milk, we may have to add a little bit more because this is actually quite thick, but it is going in the pie, so also I'm going to have to get my whisk in there, still some bits of <laughs> red onion appearing in here, and there it is, nice and beautiful and creamy, let's get our uh, cheese. Right, in with our cheese. I just had to taste some of it. Make sure it was alright. Let's whisk that in. Look at that, it's beautiful, silky smooth. Let's um, taste. And no doubt we'll have to add some salt. That's a bit bland. <laughs> then we'll get some black pepper in there too. Right, let's whisk that. I'll turn the stove off. What a beautiful, beautiful cheese sauce that is. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful tasting cheese sauce that is. Right, let's get the onions done. Oh no, got to put the cauliflower in. I'll put the cauliflower in in batches and then we'll come back and stir it in. Right, now we're just going to fold this in. That's all perfect now, so what we can do is to our onions. 
first about two tablespoons of olive oil and we'll let that get up to heat. Right, onions in. These are starting to look very nice for now. So we've got our raw sugar. This is one tablespoon per onion. So we've got four tablespoons for our four onions. That sugar has all turned to caramel now. And those onions are beautiful and soft. So let's get on with our pico. Right, I'm just putting some olive oil on our first sheet. This is, <laughs> I can tell already this is going to be tricky. Okay, let's get our first. Oh, that didn't work out very well, did it? Never mind. We know how forgiving phyllo pastry is, so don't ever be discouraged when you're using it. It will work out in the end. Right, our second piece, we don't need to put oil on because it will soak through from the layer underneath. I'll just put some olive oil on here and then we'll come back um, and put our filling in. Now I've put a few extra pieces in there where my fingers have gone through. <laughs> um, so we're now going to add this beautiful cauliflower. Right. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Okay, so there's our cauliflower. Now we're going to put our. Now we're going to put our um, onions in. I've just got to find a plastic or wooden spatula. Okay, wood it is. <laughs> so. Oh, these. Caramelised onions. Got the aroma that's coming out of this pan. I get so excited when I'm cooking. <laughs> Especially when I get to this stage when it's just about finished. Now we're going to get some Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle that over the top. Right. Sorry for the noise of the plastic bag. But this cheese is in. Now, I'm a big fan of cracked pepper for these sort of dishes, so I'm going to put a little bit of cracked pepper on the top there as well. Now, we're going to fold in our filo pastry. And you can brush with a little bit of olive oil to give a nice crisp feel to the top rather than it flaking and just falling off. Okay, let's get this into the oven and uh, get tasting, shall we? And there we have it, straight out of the oven. You can see it's still bubbling. That's the cheese bubbling underneath the top layer of pastry. We're going to leave this to cool for about, I would say, half an hour. and Then we'll cut it up and give it a taste. Right, here we have it. Out of the oven. And now we're going to have a taste. Try and get some of that caramelised onion in there. Oh, this looks so yum. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, that caramelised onion is so gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I'll hope you'll make it at home too um, because it is delicious. Right, I will catch you on the next recipe.